Hello there, this is question 14 of the exam practice um, uh, medley. Okay, so this question now, I just want to just give you a little quick hint. Um, what topic could this be? So, what's given this away is um, this one here. So, submerged. Okay, so ba basically that involved the topic um, immersed body. Okay, so if you want to, you can look that up at the end of this tutorial, and that is page 30 of the revision guide. Okay, so uh, other things I want to show you. Well, initially, when I look at when I thought, okay, this is submerged, so this is to do with immersed bodies, the first thing I thought of it, when they were asking me to find the uh, density is that the rope, uh, the density of the fluid. Uh, if you recall, it, uh, times the volume of the fluid is equal to the uh, rope of the body times by the volume of the body. Well, I know the volume of the body because I can work that out using these parameters. The density of body is what I need to find. Uh, the volume of the fluid, I don't know what the tank volume yes I don't uh, it is water so I suppose I can uh, reference the fluid as in the uh, density of the water so because this is not given or there's no information that allow me to work out this then I thought to myself no it can't be this one okay so actually it works out to be much simpler than that uh, it, it, it involves a little bit of kinetic um, um, but before we start, it says we need to use Archimedes principle. Now, if I remind you what Archimedes principle is, is on the top uh, paragraph of the page 30 of the revision guide. Uh, this principle states that a body totally or partially submerged in a fluid displaces a volume of fluid that weights the same as the apparent loss in weight of the body. So that's what the Archimedes um, principle states for, uh, states as. Okay, so um, first of all, I'm, what I'm given here uh, is that I'm given that there is a uh, the weight of the water displaced by the cylinder. So what you uh, if you recall the weight of the water, so the f the force due to gravity is equal to if it's if it's in equilibrium. That means if this is a tank, and if I throw a ball in, it, what it does is it goes in and sink downwards, and then it will come back up and then it will just fall back down and it will oscillate until it died out and then that position of the ball where it doesn't go up or down anymore is what we consider as the static equilibrium so it's stationary okay so um, so therefore the force due to gravity when it's stationary must equal to the uh, up thrust uh, which pushes this object up Okay, so that w is in equilibrium. So Fg is equal to the F um, up. Okay, that was in our note. So when it's in equilibrium, that's the same. Okay, okay, anyhow, uh, but what do we know about F, um, uh, uh, the force being displayed, uh, the weight of the water? Okay, so therefore, um, the weight of the water. What do we know about this? Because force is equal to mg. So if we know the weight of the water, force is 22, then m of the mass of the water can be worked out by using, by doing so, because we know g is 9.81. So mass of the water is 22 divided by 9.81 so we can do it this way and because if you remember based on GCSE maths density triangle uh, so is um, uh, is mouse don't Jane Vimto 
So the density is equal to mass divided by volume. Okay, so we can calculate, because we're talking about the body, we can work out the volume of the body. We know the mass of the water. Okay, so we can use this um, and then divide by the volume of the body. Okay, that's because it's based on the Archimedes principle. So the um, uh, how much is displaced by uh, 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 this way is the volume of fluid that weighs the same as the apparent loss in weight of the body. So the mass of this water will be the same as the mass of this body. Okay, so so therefore. Um, that's what the Archimede principle. So that is equiv. That's also going to equal to the mass of the body. So I'm just going to squeeze that in. Okay. So, um, so now we know that we just need to work out the volume. So let's check that. That's the me in meters. So how do we find the volume of a cylinder? Um, the volume of a cylinder. So if I use a different color pen, because I'm 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 doing all this everywhere. Um, so if I clear this, I'll just do this at the top here. Okay. So the volume of the body is equal to well, is the cross because it's a prism. It's the cross sectional area times by the depth. So the cross sectional area just happens to give us the radius. So pi r square times the depth, or if you like, the height. Okay. So pi times 0.3 um, square, and then times by 0.7. So put that in the calculator. What we will get is. Um, So that answer, that's the volume of the body. So um, because we're going to use this number to calculate the next calculation, so you might like to just round that to, instead of two decimal places, you get rounded to three decimal places. So uh, one, nine, eight. Um, uh, that, and that is the volume, so it's meter cubed. And then you go ahead and find the density now. So the density rope of the body or the cylinder is equal to the mass of the body divided by the volume of the body. And th so we know the mass of the uh, body is equivalent to the mass of the water. So I can then say, um, so if we put that, s if you so if we go ahead and say that's 22 divided by 9.81 and then this answer we're going to divide that by 0 0.198 and so that comes to 11 point three three um, remember the density is kilogram per meter cube okay and that's round to two decimal place okay so that's the density of the cylinder so we can now just double check the answer so eleven point three three okay we see uh, we got eleven point three so that's that's pretty good um and they used eleven point three one. What did they round the answers to? Okay, they keep it okay, not point one nine eight. So the, yep, we did use not point one nine eight. Um and what they had done, they have rounded it to two point two four for the mass of water. So but we kept the values unrounded. So that may be the reason why we got three. 0.33 instead of the 0.31 uh, written here, I think. Yeah, 31. But, you know, um, 
yeah so I, I I really don't think that's gonna be a big issue okay so there you are uh, a, a quick simple question so but bear that in mind it might be the other version where it is the rope or uh, times V equal to the rope of body times V of the body so um, so be expect both version okay so you've seen this one make sure you press practice the other one um, uh, from the vision guide page 30 okay thank you